Hey you guys, so today I'm going to show you a new wig that was sent to me by Don Millie Hair. So Don Millie sent to me this cute little box. Um, they sent me some lashes. They sent me an elastic band for my wig and they sent me a little makeup pouch. And they also sent me the wig which came in this plastic bag. Um, usually the information about the wig is on the bag, but this one just says 22 inches. Um, so I'll look up all the specs for this wig. This is what the unit looks like. It is a 360 wig. So it has lace all the way around. I did cut the lace that was all the way around it. It has a lot of parting space, you guys, like a ton. I feel like this is probably a 13 by six or even a 13 by eight. It's just a whole lot of parting space. The wig is 22 inches long and it's super, super pretty, really curly. I did bleach the knots. Um, and I did put a rip in this, you guys, by mistake, I ripped my lace. So be careful with your lace. It is thin, which is a good thing because it makes it less visible, but it is thin, so you can rip it. So don't be too harsh with your lace when you're, um, washing it and things. I am going to use my lace, um, tint spray. This one is from Wig Extensions and I use the color Golden. When I do this, I usually flip the wig inside out, especially when I have this much um, closure space. So it's really easy if you flip the wig inside out and pretty much everywhere where you see the frontal is where you want to go ahead and spray. Or you can just spray where you know you're going to part it. So I usually try to spray two times in each area, like while I'm moving around the wig. Make sure it's all flipped so you get all the lace. Of course, this doesn't want to flip down. So I try to just spray two times in each area because the more you spray, the more it's going to build up and get darker. But it had like that gray cast at, around it, I mean on it. So I definitely wanted to give it more of a brown cast. Then what you're going to do is just grab your um, blow dryer. And once you blow dry, you kind of can see the shade that it is and see if any areas need some more. I would say this area probably needs some more, but this is down around like the ear tab, so it really doesn't matter. The most important areas are where you're going to be parting it and right around the hairline. So I guess I'll just add just a little bit more right around the hairline because that is really important to when you're trying to blend. Now with this wig, I am gonna do this one glueless, so I'm not gonna put hairspray and all that all around my edges. All I'm literally gonna do is just use some um, edge control and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with this one. Now with these wigs, I usually do style them before I put them on my head because it really is a lot easier. I know you guys like to see us YouTubers style everything on camera on our heads, but it's much harder that way and if you want a flawless finish I would definitely suggest um, just getting yourself a dome head like this you can just put your wig on the head use t-pins to place it down and style your wig on the head all the way down to the baby hair to the part to wand curling if you need to like fluff out any of your curls whatever it is you need to do I would suggest doing it on your I would suggest doing it on your dome head because it just makes life so much simpler and easier. You can do it like while you're watching TV. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, typically, I wouldn't use a light... Um, I wouldn't use a light color cap like I'm using, but I can't find a black one right now. So, we just gonna make it work. Um, of course, this looks crazy at the moment, but we gonna get it. 
This is so much parting space, you guys. Like, look at all this parting space. This is insane. Um, they really give you a lot to work with. See, you can see that cap underneath there. I'm going to take this cap off because I really... I don't like how it's looking underneath here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a no for me. So I'm going to take this cap off. I think it looks a lot better without it. I really wanted to wear a cap because my hair is not braided down. And when my hair is not braided down, I get like really antsy about how my hair is doing underneath the wig. Like, because my hair is all natural, it's growing really nicely and I just want to keep my hair doing good. So, this wig is cute. Where's my water bottle? Do, 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 do. Okay, here's my spray bottle. I'm just gonna wet it a little bit to kinda Tame the hair a little bit and just give it some hydration. You know, curly hair really needs moisture. It doesn't matter if it's your natural curly hair or if it's weave or extensions or wig, whatever. It just really seeks out water like it needs moisture. And it looks good when it's when it has that moisture. It just brings it to life. Um, so if your curly hair becomes unmanageable or just looks dull and weak, like, definitely add a little bit of water to give it that life. Let me do this side. Oh, wow. I was about to use the lace tint spray. This hair is really pretty. So, I've worked with Don Millie before. This is not my first time working with them or their hair. They're um, a really nice company. Like they're really nice. Um, they communicate well. Their shipping is super fast and their customer service is really sweet. So I've always had good experiences with them. And I think I've worked with them like three times so far. This hair is really pretty. I'm really happy with it. It does come with baby hairs along the edge, which are a little long, but honestly, with this unit, I think it looks kind of cute. It almost looks like bangs or something. I actually really like it. Um, if you wanted to define your part, you absolutely could do that. You just take a little powder and just add some to the part. This powder has like a little bit of an orange tint to it. So I use the one with a little bit of orange first and then I go back over with one that's like a little less orange. I really like this wig, like the baby hairs and I just think this wig is really cute like and it doesn't take a whole lot of work especially if you like your hair a little more like carefree I don't always like my hair like super duper laid and smacked down to my head um, let me add the lighter powder on top this wig is super cute now I didn't use the combs on this wig but you absolutely can. I think I'm just gonna use bobby pins around my ears. And this wig fits really well, so I'm not worried about it like going anywhere. So I'll just put bobby pins near my ears.
and make sure the comb is in the back. You know, the comb is in in the back. So you guys, this is pretty much the look for this wig. I really, really like this one. Um, you obviously could do more to like lay it down. You could grab your, um, your mousse and your hairspray and you could use your edge control as well. But I don't think it's necessary for this one. It's just really cute. And it's a nice density too. Not super full to where it's hard to manage because you know curly hair is a lot. It can be high maintenance hair. So pretty. So just make sure when you're caring for your curly hair, you have a really good cleansing shampoo. Um, you want a shampoo that really cleanses, or you could always do like an apple cider vinegar rinse first and then shampoo it because the vinegar rinse is going to be like very clarifying. Then you can use your shampoo and make sure you use your conditioner. With my curly hair, when I condition my curly hair, I actually leave the conditioner on it and leave it in my bathtub for a while. And um, I'll just come back and get it and rinse it out later but I would just leave it on for a while even before you detangle it or anything like that like leave the conditioner on for some hours and then go back and go ahead and detangle it and um, you know rinse the conditioner out but that's how you're gonna you know extend the life of your curly hair just keep it super moisturized and super hydrated and super conditioned you can also use a spray conditioner is from pretty strands is this one and you can always spray this on to condition your hair as well. Um, Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner, amazing, and it smells so flipping good. Um, if I miss anything, you guys, please let me know. If you have questions that I didn't answer, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you guys check out Don Millie Hair. Um, I'll leave links to this hair in the information box. And yeah, make sure you're following me on all my social media. It super helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.